We didn't have an insulated ratchet for the battery box, so this is how you insulate a tool from electrical arcing. Simple electrician's tape. At the very end as well. Looks good. Now due to the nature of the tool, when you're in the battery box and you're ratcheting, if you touch these two terminals, this thing, uh, if it's not protected, will turn into plasma in your hand. It's not fun. You always want to lock your battery box. Avoid unwanted visitors. Here are batteries we're going to wire now, and we're going to put them in strings um, or in two series and paralleled to create 48 volts nominal. And what nominal means is that these batteries are listed as 6 volt batteries. Um, the voltage on the batteries change depending on charge, depending on use. A lot of different things. They actually operate typically higher than six volts. So we are wiring these this side, paralleling it to this side, and then pulling <clears throat> off a of positive in the back and a negative in the front on opposite ends. And that would help equalize all the batteries so we're not using one battery more than the other and uh, prolong the life of all of them. So here we go. A little bit of breathing room. We wanted to make sure they fit when we got them in the box, but now, so they don't heat each other up. We're them. Yeah, maybe, yeah, half inch. recommended and it makes it easier to get a generalized temperature sticking the battery temp sensor somewhere in the middle here now I think battery wiring is one of the most misunderstood things people do with solar be surprised how many different opinions I've gotten on how to wire these things before uh, reaching the right conclusion. Um, so a lot of people that are wiring their batteries incorrectly or impartially. You want to be real careful not to spill any of these boys. They sulfuric acid and they also have the mister oil floating on top so if I spill it I have to get more
give him a bit of wiggle room. Based out evenly for the most part. Tuck all these handles out of the way. So when designing your battery box, you want to leave you know, a good amount of space on both ends for ventilation and drill small holes in it. Um, I used 26 inches by 65 inch box. My batteries are actually 11 and a half, 12 inches with the handles by 7 and a half inches. And that gives me enough to give them a little space to breathe. Tightening down our battery connections. Just make these long enough just to reach over there and kill yourself. So that's why we put this tape on the end. <laughs> you want to make sure these are as tight as you can get them without ripping your terminal post off. <laughs> 